everyone welcome back to my channel today we'll be talking about setting powders yes all right so this video is going to just be a quick and very quick very quick rundown of four setting powders that i have to show you guys in my collection just gonna talk about them because sometimes when you are not a makeup artist and stuff like that you just want the product that works right you don't want to be doing the trial and error thing you just want to know which product works and that's the one you want to get right right so let me just go through them all right so yeah without further ado let's get started all right so the first setting powder we'll be discussing is the la girl pro powder hd setting powder that's what it says all right and this one it's a white powder all right so it's very white you can't even see it and um, it says translucent for all skin types all right so this was the first powder that i bought when i knew nothing about setting powders and to be honest i did not like this it's still not my favorite at all this powder if it is that you're going to take flash photography you're going to get a flashback with this one for sure it does leave that white cast on your face um but i like the powder if you're not going to take use flash right um it's very finely milled and whatever color you have a concealer you have under it that's the color that it's going to be all right so it's not going to give you like a yellow um finish or anything like that so it's just translucent as long as you do not use flash all right so that's that one the second one is the ruby kisses hd set and forget setting powder this one says 16 hour flawless rubber proof wear which this powder i bought it as a under eye setting powder but that was a fail because as you guys can see the powder looks pretty orange right i don't know what i was thinking so this one was a no go for a under eye setting powder they have i think i saw two other shades a translucent shade and then another yellow yellow shade this shade is this one is in the shade rich all right so it was a no-go for under eye setting powder for my complexion however i do use it as an all over setting powder it's good for that um yeah that's it when that's when they're saying it's rub proof i don't know what rub proof is but when i set my foundation with this one and i go like this it does transfer all right so i'm not sure what they mean by rub proof because the product will move all right so the next one i'm gonna talk about is my black opal deluxe finishing powder and you guys this one is one of my favorites it has the slightest the slightest slightest dust of like shimmer to it um so if it is that you have oily skin and you want a powder to like control those oils but it's still you want that glow then this one is a good one i have it in the shade deep and i think they have four other shades so this is zero five deep all right this one the shade is too dark for a under eye setting powder so this one i also use as an all over face powder which i actually like it i do like it all right it says that it's all control and to be honest no i'm sorry maybe my skin is excessively oily but i don't think it controls my oils any more than any other one of these powders that are not for oil control also if it is that you want to support a black owned business um you can try this one there's some disagreement as to whether or not it's black owned however i saw on their website where it was part owned by a woman of jamaican descent and it is run by black people all right to answer all your questions so if you want to support black businesses you can choose this one it's a good powder and i really have nothing bad to say about it except for the fact that it does really control my oils 
all right so the last powder is my favorite this is my absolute favorite powder this one actually changed my makeup game when it came to under eye setting powder because you guys under your eyes is very important because that's what people look at well i know when i'm looking at somebody i go for their eyes and you're gonna see what's directly under the eyes so this one is the sasha buttercup setting powder and this one it's very fine and male if you're a woman of color this one is gonna be your best friend just because it has this yellow tint to it let me open it for you all right so it has a yellow tint it doesn't leave a flashback it's just a good setting powder and i even use this as an all over face powder sometimes but very lightly all right i just dust it very lightly all over my face when it comes to baking though i do not bake with this one for too long just because i have dry under eyes so this will dry out my under eye area and make it look terrible so i just take my beauty sponge and dab it into my skin most of the times if i'm going to try and bake i just bake with it for like a minute and just dust it off all right but this is my favorite of all the four that i have and if i should rate them in terms of my favorite it would go in this order so the Sasha Buttercup would be first, then the Black Opal, then the Ruby Kisses, and then the LA Girl. Alright, set so and LA Girl Pro Powder. Alright, so that's it you guys. I hope this video was helpful in some way or the other. If it is that you have any of these powders, comment down below which one you have and if you like it or not. So that it can be helpful to other persons. Alright? So that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate your support. Please remember to subscribe if you have not already. We are wait upon. Like the video if you do. And share guys. I would appreciate it greatly. Alright. So until next time you guys. Take care.